Wow, I'm just going to take a little moment to take that in. How incredible is that sky? Away with work, a little bit of fishing, everyone's got their cameras out. It's incredible. It's kind of like lightning coming across the sky, the way the, the clouds are moving across the city, but... Welcome to Copenhagen. It's uh, a little bit quiet. I've been out with the work lot and I've had a couple of beers, but I said to myself that it's our free day today and I was definitely gonna get out fishing. I've got a little travel rod that I brought with me. 10 to 35 gram, got a 3000 spinning reel, plenty of line on it because apparently it's very deep around these areas. What I'm gonna do is brought a few lures with me nothing special weedless because i've been told that you know like ren in the last video there are a lot of sunken materials around on the bottom so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna have a little walk and a fish it's an hour till sundown so i'm just gonna have a little walk a fish a little play and see if we can uh, nail a cod because that's the species that lurks around these kind of areas nothing special just a fun little fish kind of as i say work it out see if we can pull one fish out of the bag i'll be happy with one fish to be honest but yeah it's just a more of a little walk around fun field session nothing too special and just have a bit of fun while the sun goes down and if we can get a fish that is a little brucey bonus if not then just happy to be out. Got myself a license, as you need one here in Denmark, so I'm gonna tie up. And hopefully we can get into a fish. I'm using my little Snowbee Caricio, 10 to 35 gram, 30 pound leader, little weedless soft plastic, nice and bright. And I've brought with me my little BG 3000. So hopefully we can get into something. If we don't, as I say, it's not the end of the world, but yeah. First cast in Denmark. So supposedly it's actually pretty deep in here, so. All I'm going to do is just walk that way, just flick and cast. Well, so far nothing, had about 20 casts. Just going to just keep walking that way, hope for the best. I've been told that this area here this stretch for another kilometer is a really good area. Now I've worked out that it's about 40 foot in depth. And what I'm doing is I'm just tap, 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 just like a wood for ass. Now I was fishing with a 30 gram lure to start off with. And I've gone down to a 20 gram. Yeah. Now I thought on the last cast I had a bite, but I'm not too sure. It wasn't much of a hit, but it was different to anything that I've had so far, so. It's not like the UK where you would see mullet in these kind of areas, there's just nothing. I've not really even seen any bait. I was questioning myself if this was the sea, but there's actually seaweed down there. Just gonna keep walking. Do my thing. If we don't catch anything, we don't catch anything, but this is lovely. Welcome to Copenhagen. Got that massive cathedral in the background. Look at that. 
strange this because it's not like when I was fishing in France or when I'm back home and you're looking for a disturbance on the water or you know some kind of bait fish or know that you're fishing into some kind of structure here it's just open water kind of weird isn't it I'm just hoping that there's a a cod somewhere in here buildings around here are incredible madness Oh, I've got a fish. Come on. Come on, my first fish in Copenhagen. It's fighting a little bit, Jesus Christ. Come on. I don't know how big it is because I've never caught one of these before. Oh, that was hard work. <sighs> oh my God. Look at the size of that. <sighs> Let's get it back. Get it back. I would give it to you, but the first one I always catch, I put back. So, thank you. Thank you. There we go. Yes. My first ever cod. I'd just changed over to a, a bass assassin that I'd use for ras back at home and... I'm gonna be all fishy now. They're gonna hate me at work. <sighs> there we go. My first ever cod on the soft plastic. You cannot beat it. What a fight that was as well. It really did go hard. Someone did tell me to come down here just before last light and bang, first time. Come on. I'm 
try and get him back without. Boom! 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 Well, I can't actually believe that happened. I've been walking and moving and walking and moving, and I thought I'd go to something a little bit different, a little bit smaller, and that is something that I would use at home 20 gram for Mr. Fish, Bass Assassin, like I would for Rass, and bang, straight away. Gave me a really good sluggish long fight. Maybe we can get another, that'd be sick. I was pretty made up at this point. I came to Denmark to work, knowing it'd be pretty hard with the time I had to catch one fish. You tell me how much of a good backdrop that is. Main city. Oh. But I nailed it on the first session. I didn't catch anything else that night. I watched the sun go down over the city, reflecting over the sea and then made my way home. But in the back of my head, I knew I had to come back and try again. Wow, welcome to a, another absolutely stunning day in Copenhagen. As you can probably tell, it's blistering hot. It's beautiful. Nah, I always knew that it was gonna be a, a rain forecasted for today, so. There's nothing really much to do after work, to be honest. I went for a nice meal and that, but I've decided to come and chance my luck again and try for another cod. Different conditions. The other day it was really sunny. Now it's, as you can see, lashing it down. It's supposed to stop at around 8.30. Sunset's around 9 o'clock. So hopefully we can get into another fish. Second go. As you can see, it's lashing it down. So. it really slowly well well it's been a bit of a horrific start so far just like the other day but check out that sunset just between the church absolutely stunning and what I'm actually gonna do now I've been told to target the bridges as well so I think I can probably get a little bit of shelter from the bridge to tackle that side on wind and uh, just aim for the bridge and try and work around the pylons and uh, hopefully we can uh, maybe get into something because like the other day it was a slow start wasn't really happening for a while and then hooked into that fish and that was around just after sunset so we're coming up to that time now I'm keeping hope hopefully we can uh, get into a fish that would be the perfect ending because I don't think I'm going to get another chance to to get out before I actually go. So two fish would be, you know, one fish could be a bit of a, a lucky hit, but two fish would be, or two fish would solidify the win. But hey, it's awesome being in a, a city like this. Look at that, that is amazing. How good is that? Can't be that for a backdrop. I think I'm gonna change lure to be honest. Not really had much on this. So obviously with the confidence beaming, I thought today I would start with lure that I caught the fish on the other day, which was a brown and like tinsel flavored kind of um, bass assassin that I'd use back at home. And now I'm gonna go for a JJ minnow. This one makes a little bit of a knocky noise as well, whereas the other one was silent. So hopefully they like a taste for one of these bad boys I got from Mr. Fish. And uh, 
Dennis actually in there told me that they don't sell these here. They're not allowed to or something like that. So let's hope the cods take a liking to it. Oh, fish, fish. Really close in, yes. Really close in. And guess what, they do like a JJ minnow. Oh, he's only a small fish, but. Hit me right down there. Let's see if I can hopefully get this in. Oh, he's just come off. Amazing. I think that was the first cast on the JJ minnow. Now he's only small. But look at that for a backdrop. Can't get better than that in the city. Only a codling, but pray to the fish gods. Anyway, so. I just whipped on a little JJ sad with a little rattle in it and he's only small but that is my second ever Danish cod much smaller than the one the other day but hopefully that'll be another one Go on, bud. Hopefully he goes. Look at him spitting all his food out. <laughs> wow, look at that. Can you beat that? Can you actually beat that? Might have to stop and take a picture because this is just incredible. Tell you what, us fishermen get some of the best sunrises and sunsets ever. I tell ya, if you're in your car right now or sitting at home on your sofa, you wouldn't be seeing that shit. It's incredible. Oh, I'm just gonna take a little moment to take that in. How incredible is that sky? I tell you what, I've caught one fish tonight, but that has made it even better. The way we've worked, Little bit of fishing, everyone's got their cameras out. It's incredible. It's kind of like lightning coming across the sky, the way the, the clouds are moving across the city, but... Jeez!